podcast. We back. Yo, what's happening? We had a little, we had a little late start this morning, but we we getting right. We 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 still going. You know what I'm saying? We still got the show it's every traffic, Saturday. Man. We don't stop. Traffic. Yes, definitely. Yeah, check this crazy this morning. Yeah, man, they had the whole <laughs> the 51 going south locked down. Oh really? Yeah, man. <laughs> Sucked. What are they trying to repair something again? I don't know That's what, what they're they doing. Saying. It seems like it. But ladies, we have a good show for you, though. I go by the name of Daniel. Aisha. I'm dipped to the lean. Tita's back in town, though. Let's give it up for Tita. She is back in town. Okay. She don't get no round of applause. She not here. <laughs> round she is of not applause. Here. She is in my A, but she's on injury reserve right now. Yeah, man. She injured, man. Good. God. You know what I mean, you know. No love. Yeah, no, no love. God. But let's uh No sympathy, man. <laughs> no sympathy. No sympathy. She left no two sympathy. weeks in a row. That is true. That is true. That is true. You'll be alright, dog. No, so I'll, <laughs> you'll be all right. <laughs> Most definitely. But let's uh let's shout out our sponsors because they keep the lights on, they keep the show going, and you know, they keep us keep us alive out here. Mm-hmm. Shout out to WaywardKid.com, Wayward Kid Foundation for all your entertainment news, sports and lifestyle trends. They also have editing programs for kids and adults. So make sure you like their Facebook page, Wayward Kid, and follow them on IG, Wayward Kid Online. We also have Kiwi Juice Bar with all natural smoothies, fresh pressed juice, nutritional education, and they're also offering weekly meal prep. Mm. They will go to the grocery store and prep your meals for you for the week. And we have I Shine, You Shine, We Shine, We Shine Detailing. Make your car shine like new. Check out their videos on Instagram and uh, Facebook. Like their pages and check out their content and uh, you'll love their work. Definitely, definitely. Don't forget, butchers, wings, and things. Come get these wings and things. They fire. They're delicious place. The people were going crazy online the other Man. day. They was, they was looking at them pics. You see I, heard butch? Y'all got, I heard y'all got some the other day, yesterday. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even let us know you was going? Maybe, maybe. maybe. It hurt yeah, my got feelings. Some bar- got some barbecue. I put some of that trap sauce on mm-hmm. okay. He yeah. had a nice article written about him yeah, also, me. which yeah. is pretty, pretty shout dope. To, uh, shout out to Rashad and uh, uh, Mr. Nicole. They, they both got written up. Yeah, that's so, dope, man. Yeah, right yeah man. Step. I love to see shine, man. Definitely. Who else we got? Who else we got? We also have Novels by Z. The game isn't only for boys. Experience the game told from the other side. You can also purchase your very own signed copy at www.novelsbyz.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't forget, KT Gibson. You know, we were supporting, we supporting his single, uh, Low Main. Mm-hmm. So he had that video actually on YouTube. And check out his, uh, his album, Seven Sequel. He's also mm-hmm. on Spotify, so make sure you check him out. Yeah, I saw that he may, he said he might have new content coming Man, soon. And he got like two, three projects coming soon. Oh, there you go, coming soon. We also have Trinity Promotions with all your printing and graphics needs. Mm-hmm. And Million Dollar Teacher Project. Let's help the teachers, help your kids, the students. Mm-hmm. So make sure you go to their Facebook page and we'll link you to all their sites and how you can donate. They always have a lot of charities going on, so make sure you check them out with that. Right, and uh, Miss Joanne Mohammed, uh, top donator, yes. uh, with her book, The Bible Tells Me So, yes. should be done now. The and book is officially done. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. So we should be I'm getting copies soon. I'm waiting copy. Mm-hmm. I believe. The first you, five people got yeah, a signed yeah, copy. Definitely. I believe if you go to Amazon. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you type her name in, Joanne Mohammed. Uh-huh. Um, no, not she's. Joanne Dumas. Okay. If you type in Joanne Dumas on Amazon, her book will be will pop right up. That's dope. So definitely, if you like to purchase her book over there, we also will be doing a giveaway for that soon. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get the show started. Let's get it started. <laughs> yes, we have a special guest in the building. Yep. Um, this man puts in lots of work for the community. Definitely. Um, I admire everything this man. I be watching. I'm yeah, gonna, man. Well, I could. I get mad when I can't make it to Vince. Yeah, we're watching. <laughs> we're watching. We might not be able to make it, but we see what's going Definitely, on, man. You know, we support 100. Watch me introduce yourself, sir. Uh, this is a. Uh, I, I like having these headphones. You know, <laughs> like, last time I, I didn't have the headphones. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm um, I'm Ivory Tyler. Everybody calls me Cam. We the United Black Men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate. It. Thank you for coming. No problem. I appreciate you. And the rest of my group. 
uh, you know, family stuff I came up. So mm-hmm. yeah, I was on my uh, sick, uh, Dante's uh, cousin or something like that was sick today or mm-hmm. in the hospital. So, you know, uh, you know prayers up for, for them and his family. And then uh, uh, Ted, his son had basketball. So, you know, his right. son's probably like one of the, probably like the best eighth grader in the state right now. Really? So, wow. Yeah, he can go. He's like six, seven, I think. Goodness. 13. In eighth grade? Wow, and not a hold back. So let's let's throw that. <laughs> wow, not a hold back. He's that's dope. He's that's exciting. Years old in eighth grade. So future. That's the future. Right yeah, there. man. I yeah. love to hear shit that's stuff dang. like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about how how, how uh, you gentlemen um actually put together uh, you know black man. Oh, okay, so um, it was a um, really just from like a, a text. You know, me and Ted kind of always you know have conversations about you know starting something in the community. Um, mm-hmm. I guess it was like, uh, I, I made a post about something and then he was like, you do it. And I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because when I do stuff, it's like, it seems to be like, uh, like, you know, I don't know. It just, it's just different. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'd rather, you know, him to do it because he has a lot more connections actually in the community because he grew up on, mm-hmm. you know, Phoenix. And he's actually like from, Phoenix, right. I'm from California. So. Okay. And, uh, so you know, it was just a uh, just a t- just a, a post, and then it kind of just grew from that. Mm. Um, I kind of think everybody was kind of ready for something like yeah. that, you know. Yeah. Um, so you know, we don't get always get the like the uh, get the turnout for our events and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Now we're just kind of you know kind of getting our foundation together. That's kind of mm-hmm. kind of what we're doing right now. So how how long has it been uh, been in existence? <laughs> like. Uh, Two months? <laughs> no, two months. Like about, it's been like, yeah, it's been like three, four months. About three, four, four months. months. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Four months, uh, mm-hmm. whatever. But um, we got a bunch of events coming up. So, right. it, you know, co- people kind of think that we just do like brunches and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. we got a bunch of stuff. We just want to, you know, we're planning. We just want to make sure that we have a calendar coming out. Like Definitely. probably, we'll have like a lot more community events probably, you know, because COVID stuff is kind of. Yeah. It's it's a lot of putting stuff. a hamper on oh everything. God, yeah. You yeah. can't like do gatherings of people. Right. Yeah. People. yeah. You know, people can still kind of iffy about coming out mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, I think as a um, you know, just building, we got to like in our Facebook group, we got like seven hundred people. You yeah. Know? So that's we actually, dope. We yeah. actually stopped it. We stopped it just to get more um, uh, until we can actually really start having like uh, um, uh, kind of get our game together exactly mm-hmm. what, how we're gonna do mm-hmm. it because it's not just me and I'm not like the leader. You know, Ted's not the leader and neither is uh, Dante. We kind of just trying to make sure that like you know you guys join you guys have a say in how mm-hmm. how we develop you know our program going you know moving forward right okay. right yeah we don't want it to be like oh my way highway so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, highway you know more of a can, democratic process exactly yeah. like a true democratic process to mm-hmm. where we can all I mean not everyone's not gonna get everything they want out of it mm-hmm. just definitely like, like that's the way process. it is yeah. definitely you know you take in um, you know give and take and, um, and that's kind of what we do it's gonna be hard with seven hundred you know <laughs> 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 members but actually you know it all comes down to like we say it's participants. Okay. Like coming to the, the stuff, main people. Right. Coming to the stuff who are, you know, donating time, energy, paying their dues, uh, that Definitely. kind of stuff. You know? Okay. Definitely. So you said pay your dues. Do you, <laughs> do you have, is it an organization that a person can join up? It the United be, Black Man? Yeah, it will be soon. Like you say, it'll be like um, a nonprofit. You know, it's going to be, we're going to make a nonprofit. And like I said, all the, we're not like Blue Cross. You know, you give mm-hmm. a dollar and they take 85%. Right. You know, 80, 85 cent or 65 percent to do right. like administrative fees. No, all our stuff is going to go directly back to like you know our community events, you know, organization, mm-hmm. you know that kind of stuff. No one's Definitely. getting like a salary or pay anything like that. But it's and it's real low. We're going to do like twenty five dollars a month, you right? Know, or you can yeah. get like two fifty for the year. And right. that way, you know, again, like I said, when we get invited, because we do get invited to a lot of events, mm-hmm. you know. So, and that's one thing about if we're going to show up, like you need to show up seven hundred. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that's yeah. just kind of like I think what's. Definitely, uh, definitely uh, strength in numbers. Yeah, and what's what's missing? I think a, a lot of a lot of times, you know, when stuff happens, it's you know, it's like four or five people, and it should be a lot more. Yeah, that's when they take you serious. Right, and um, since you have voting coming up, yeah, are you guys are you getting together to organize to get your your seven hundred people, seven hundred black men strong? You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's a big yeah, um, and a we community. Got, <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because we got like like. A lot of sisters too. <laughs> oh, okay. That's <laughs> not a black man, but I mean, like when I put, when I sent out the email for like uh, you know to put uh, you know like your information about interest you know, mm-hmm. in the group, I get a lot of a lot of black women in there. Okay, too, you know mm-hmm. what, you know for their kids and sons yeah. like that. Right. But uh, you know we can't do nothing without without them. You know definitely. Mm-hmm. You know I say our whole program should be, and I tell them like we all talk about that like supporting them. We should just 
time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we want to just, whatever they say, dude, we need to, we need to be doing it. So, like, with Tim. Um, yeah, I know. I've seen that y'all working with Tim. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, you know, I just think, like, uh, I mean, for no other reason. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, why not? You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But he, the, the stuff he's doing is, like, unprecedented. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, giving those, those guys, those families, you know, those rights back. Those, yeah. those rights back. That was and incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, like. Free, <laughs> you know, and like uh, just you know having enough game and, and 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 talking to the people and showing his face and I mean even from a standpoint of like I have a you know one day I would like to get in politics not actually to be a you know a someone that's like a, a le- elected official right but I would like to do like you know like help with uh, you know campaigns and, mm-hmm. right. and all yeah that kind of stuff like that like a pack I would love to do a pack Definitely. But, anyway, <laughs> but with Tim I see just how his how organized he is. Right. I I haven't seen no one as organized mm-hmm. as he's ready, man. As his, uh, Definitely. As his campaign. Yeah, yeah he's I think uh Mr Mr uh, we call him Uncle Tim C over here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's been on the show a couple of times. But I uh, I remember the was it not the year before? I know he ran before. Mm-hmm, yeah, and yeah, I think he, it was 2018. 2018. Yeah, he right. didn't make he didn't make the ballot. Definitely was a learning process. Learning process. And now he's just going so heavy. He man. he learned everything he he needs, and yeah. uh, he has the team with behind him now. Yeah, and man, they're, they're doing nothing but surging. Even yeah. seeing him from the beginning of the process mm-hmm. to now is yep. has been leaps and bounds the, yep. how much he's grown yep. since beginning and when we first met him yep. so into the the next time and seeing him now you know yeah. what I'm saying everything's been growing and, and growing uh, and getting better he's very just open he talks to everybody man he's open to everybody yeah man you know, and he wants to help everybody so mm-hmm. that's a, he's a good man yeah I didn't even like I said I didn't even you know, pay no attention to him you know before but mm-hmm. like I can say I live on South Side Phoenix right I see you know the signs everywhere and you know like and that's one thing about like our political uh side of our of our organization it's kind of like let's say you know he didn't make the ballot last time but now he's on the ballot mm-hmm. so when you start making those numbers it you know you bring something to the table because yeah. like if if it's a if a you know republican wins and beats a democrat by you know twenty thousand votes tim gets forty thousand votes who do you think they're going to try to you know talk to exactly. have a sit down with say how did you get those votes and right. how can we get those votes next time right. yeah. and that's kind of like you know like that's what I said about like just the last I mean <laughs> just the last um, uh, election that I'll ever be game into like you know vote or die nonsense you know what I'm saying yeah. I'm, <laughs> this is just over with like I don't care what they say but next time I'm voting for you know strictly my interest you know mm-hmm. me and my family and actually as a collective like once we get a collective you know yeah, we need to vote on our own interest. And I don't care if we got a third party it and I don't know, whoever somebody worse than Trump went, I don't care. You know, mm-hmm. and that's what should be and when we all as a as a group of people should also understand that, you know, we didn't been through slavery, we didn't been through Jim Crow, mm-hmm. we didn't mm-hmm. been through Trump, we didn't through you know, <laughs> so, we didn't been through so much stuff. So I you know. I I underst- I agree, but I disagree. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, because it's think about in the past when they had to vote. When they voted in the in the fifties, think of the shit that they had to vote for. Even Lyndon B. Johnson was a racist piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, racism. not hidden racism, no, no, not no. under open, yeah. Yeah. very open on on the things they were saying, and they still went and vote. They fought. Wait, wait, hold those on. people was marching Yo, to I'm vote. I'm not saying I'm not gonna vote. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying I'm gonna vote regardless. I'm definitely gonna use my. But, you know, my but, thing on uh yeah I feel you but my thing is on third parties is that the the strength strength is in numbers unfortunately right. and until we, until those parties get the numbers that we need mm-hmm. just even puffy I think he's trying to start a black party black party yeah. and mm-hmm. and I'm I'm like that's I understand yeah. but my problem is numbers yeah. we're gonna lose yeah but you know is our vote's not gonna count no um. The amount of people that if we split the Democratic Party, the Republican Party is going to stand. They're going to stand oh, together, stand together. Okay. and they st- we're barely beating them now. We all split. We're definitely going to lose. Well, no, well, I don't think so because well, that's what they need. Well, paper like this, they lost what three? They lost three states by what seventy-seven thousand votes? Yeah, like really close. Okay, so and most and then the, the blame. They don't say it like a negative blame, but the blame is on who. The people who didn't vote, the black community, yeah, yeah. Black, yeah. the black vote, yeah. the young black vote didn't show. Right. So if you know that, why wouldn't you spend these last four years 
with a black agenda for those young black. Why, you know, like there's there's still no real agenda. There's still nothing that puts us that we that we're gonna gain in in mm-hmm. with Biden and, and Harris. I mean, the honest let's, let's I mean let's keep, let's keep it one hundred. Like mm-hmm. you know, because we had the Obama years, and I mean I'm not saying Trump is better. I'm definitely not saying that. But you know, like what did we actually get? We got a uh, healthcare, mm-hmm. man. And I think like me to me that was like one of the the biggest like waste. And like when I see Trump, like how how he how he rules that Republican Party, mm-hmm. and I see how how Obama had both houses, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Well, he, had, he had a and, full a couple years. Right, for yeah. two years. And he did, and he could not pass because of those blue dog, whatever, yeah. mm-hmm. Democrats. He didn't have control of that party like he should have because he could have passed everything, just like Trump passed. Trump passed everything. He was getting everything mm-hmm. through, like, you know, yes, for the first yes. four years. So wh- why didn't Obama do the same thing? So it's like, dem- that's a Democrat. Those mm-hmm. are Democrats who voted yeah. against all those things. So, yeah. so what did we really get from those years? So what did we yeah. get this? He they, were, they weren't riding with him at all. He definitely right. made some mistakes. He definitely did some yeah. things that was wrong. But I don't think it was um, a mistake. I think that it's I, it's the party. It's mm-hmm. the, that's the issue. Like you said, Republicans are so far to the they just racist, like straight out, like we just racist. Yeah, they just don't care, right? And that's fine. I like overt racism. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to know who you are, so I know mm-hmm. not to be around you. But when it's the Democrats, it's like, like you said, you have a, these these uh, blue dog Democrats. Well, you have the have. middle. Yeah. You have the people who are in the middle of the party, and they want to stay in the middle, and they think that's the way to go. Is the middle? Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, stay in the middle. Yeah. Don't go too far left. Don't go too far right. That's the that's the old way of the Dem- Democratic Party. The new way is going more progressive. Right. So it's the fight of trying to pull them to the progressive end, mm-hmm. and they're trying to keep it in the middle mm-hmm. because they think that's the way to win votes. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's that's they think that's the way to win presidencies because that's the way they've won before because Obama, he's right. been, he was more centralized. Mm-hmm. Uh, Clinton was more centralized, as I said. But yeah, because they're always trying to, like I said, a moderate, like I said, a moderate vote, <laughs> I mean, that's anything to me, is like, you know, a moderate is a white, like a white woman, most likely. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A white man. Like, if, like right now, if you haven't picked up, like they're saying, they're still haven't picked up independent and moderate voters. Like, you need. I've seen. You should. You saw everything you need to see a year, you know, two, three years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, going to lock up those Mexican kids and stuff like that. Yeah. You, you kind of had a choice to choose be, between you no know, humility. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And being a human and being, you know, a, a tax break. So right. you know, th- there to me, there is no, there is no moderate you know it either is right or wrong and if you can see if you what are what a group of people that like I said racism to me is not it's it's, it's you can't negotiate that mm, you know what i'm saying like because real. i mean i was in i'm in that well i was i was in a <laughs> higher tax bracket you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so i love trump as far as the 20 the 21 percent you know what i'm saying right. The taxes right compared to 41 percent i'm cool with that mm-hmm. but the same and and you know the minimum wage being low and all that you know low wage workers i, I mean as a business person yeah i'm cool with that mm-hmm. but as an actual human being you know wow. being broke i was broker you know been broke longer than i've been you know have some money so right. mm-hmm. of course i mean i gotta you know and i have people work for me so i still don't want them to I want them to have a livable wage right. you understand you, you know yeah. what i'm saying right. i understand that i understand that they need health care Mm-hmm. I said all that stuff. So, like, in the last one, I voted for, you know, obviously for Hillary Clinton, and I voted for, you know, higher minimum wage. I voted for all these Democratic stuff, mm-hmm. and it's like, you know, that was against my own interests, you right. know, and that's the thing. We we vote against our own interests, and same thing with poor white people. They, they vote, vote against, Trump. yeah, they, they vote, vote against, against their own interests. Their own interests. And so, it's, yeah. not, it's like, it's crazy, like, when I hear these people, you know, with their Trump flags and all stuff, and then you look at those people, obviously, those people in those big old trucks, they pull up to a... A Trump uh, hotel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he gonna say, "Get those trucks, <laughs> get those trucks on stupid flags, hell off my right. property." He's yeah. not really hanging with them. They don't, he's not, they you know, don't he's know. just he's just appealing to their their that racism. Yeah, you and know their emotional saying? pulls is racism and hate. And yeah. and as long as they he can do that, and and that's why people are like, "What? Well, Trump ain't racist." I'm like, "Well, he if he isn't racist, he uses racism." Yeah, yeah, which yeah. which makes him a racist. And I was, my thing was like I said I don't think he's but I get what you I totally agree with what you're saying too. But I don't think he's a racist. I think I think he just uh, it literally is a rich person who does not give a damn right way. You know it's like mm-hmm. it's like uh, the dude who owns Amazon. I don't think he gives a he don't care about me or you. Like right. honestly he don't give a damn. He may you know mm-hmm. he, I mean if you look I mean yeah. <laughs> I saw the picture. I don't know if y'all saw the picture of him and his new woman. You know he paid that woman his ex wife what. Seven billion, eight billion, yeah, yeah, yeah. a hundred billion dollars of crazy stuff. 
and you taking a picture in front of this pool that's probably like 200 feet long, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with his, with his, his brother-in-law's ex-wife or ex-girl. Like, yeah. you know, just, I don't care. I made $17 billion yeah. in, in, too much money. In, in a pandemic. But see, that's, that's the thing, <laughs> yeah. too, though. That's, that's a give, something we do because our taxes are low. Oh, yeah. And especially the taxes for the top 1%. Oh, yeah. They're paying nothing compared to what they paid in the 60s and 70s. Yeah. I mean, their tax used to be way higher. And and the effect of them not paying any taxes, we getting billionaires now. There was You got to think, there was no such thing as a billionaire in America. Billionaire. Right. <laughs> He's on his way to a trillion dollars. Yeah, we got four people that's like, I think that's 100 billionaires right, right now. Which is so they, they control... Oh, okay. Who make nothing? Ninety percent of of the of the uh, wealth. the wealth in the country. Right. right. So I mean, we got to think, man. We're we're giving up a lot, man. And people get mad and and want to be for the rich. And look, understandably, man. I mean, I understand, but yeah. most of us are not going to be rich. Yeah. Right? You know, it's like like I said, every, everyone, and that's what they have always done to make you think. Republican Party's always done that to make you think you're going to be rich or make you think like that tax break mm-hmm. that tax break that he keeps bringing up. I mean, I don't know 100% the rules, but any person, any tax person, any person in in finance will tell you that the poor people, you know, you didn't get nothing. You right. get, you know, 400, 4,000, $2,000 is see I mean, even in <laughs> you compare you compare like this comp- I always think about like when you get like a traffic ticket. Poor people get a traffic ticket that, that kills you. Right. That definitely kills you. <laughs> right. right. So yeah. stuff should be proportionate to what you actually make. make right. If I'm a, a millionaire and I get a speeding ticket, I gotta that's pay forty dollars. Come on, man. <laughs> like, I got that's that problem. Man, nothing. I got that just random right. yeah, you know, is. randomly somewhere. They don't keep on driving fast. Right. Exactly. It's no it's, <laughs> yeah. no it's no real it's no real it's not a real penalty. Right. But mm-hmm. the poor people are paying the paying the price like all the time. Like I said, right now, this whole pandemic stuff, they giving everybody the stimulus, everybody happy, everybody da da da. But when it comes down comes down to it, you know, like I said, you you know they they did the tax holiday. I mean, the, the you don't have to pay the um, payroll tax that, mm-hmm. that goes into Social Security. Right. You know, so who's gonna who's gonna feel that? It's gonna take right. up. You know right. what I'm saying? Like it, yeah. Then yeah. you think you're gonna you're gonna have to pay that twelve hundred dollars back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to you know when they when they start getting all that um that stimulus money, they're gonna raise those taxes. They're gonna they gonna you gonna they're gonna get that money back, man. You know what Definitely. I'm saying? That money is back behind nothing. They, you can't. They didn't have two trillion dollars for health care. They didn't have two two two, two, two Two trillion dollars for nothing. Well, they never have money for shit like right, that. But now all of a sudden, y'all got, y'all, y'all got, uh, what was it, eighty nine billion dollars yeah. to bail out. They air, got, air, they, air, got air. they got that. Crazy. They got that. They got that. It's yeah, all yeah. about what it's for. When it's yeah. for healthcare, ah, we ain't got it. We ain't got yeah. it. Definitely. Um, we, I want, we want to shout out our uh, today's marketing sponsor. You know that we have. So does, oh, yeah. does, does Ice, you have it on deck? What do we are? I do. I have uh, Waxing by Brittany. She is located inside the Salon Boutique at 1061 mm-hmm. North Dobson Road, Suite 110, unit number 32. She is currently hosting a raffle. Mm. Uh, her and Candy Rose Boutique have uh, collaborated, and they're going to give away free clothes, lashes, a wow. uh, vajayshul okay. for women oh, okay. or men, okay. depending on, right. you know, <laughs> your right. waxing needs. Right. Waxing needs. Right. Um, <laughs> all you have to do is like and follow both pages. Okay. And once you do that, you will tag your friends in the mm-hmm. post, okay. and you'll be entered into the raffle. Dope. Winners will be picked on November 7th. And it's Waxing well, by Brittany. Waxing by Brittany. what's the uh, Facebook page? Waxing by Brittany. All right. Waxing by Brittany. Sounds so. Thank you for your marketing donation sponsor right there. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, Appreciate them. Definitely. All right, let's get back. Daniel will be up there soon. No, no, no. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's get back into it. Um. Wait, no, nah, I wasn't gonna say anything. Okay, but I know you also have the king, the king brunch. Okay. Let's, let's discuss that. I love that. I love that. Yeah. I love the pictures. You know, I didn't get the uh, the be the one yet. Only I think one was on our day we did the show mm-hmm. actually. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I didn't Saturday get. Yeah, I didn't get to go that one. But tell us how that got together. And I know there's so many brothers there. Right. Filling up the room. Next time y- y'all can do the the podcast there and oh, we, got, we have another uh, uh, podcast company coming. 
I mean, respect. Is that uh, mentor, right? Yeah, yeah, mentor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They shout actually, out to mentor. Yeah, they had a rock and they had a really, really good. They had a lot of like, uh, uh, like interaction with the crowd and stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, oh, that's cool. Really good. Oh, can I, can, I, can I give a shout out? Definitely, yeah. definitely. They're not our sponsor, but uh, <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Larry with uh, Lolo's and yes, Oh yeah, Brunch yes. Set. Yeah, you know, yeah, that dude, he's really been helping us and really yeah. supporting, like, really supporting us. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, we do, uh, let everybody know, we do a brunch and sip, uh, like a Monday night football there. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. They close at like 2 o'clock. They uh-huh. it up for us at, you know, That's dope. 5 to like uh, 9 or 10. And we just, you know, hang out and talk and be, be brothers. And right. Yeah, that's what it is. Hang out. That's right. And that's kind of where the, you know, like the, the sisters come out and they kind of interact. And we have, like, they have some good groups. Mm-hmm. That come out too, so um, give him a definite shout out for you know. Uh, didn't uh, uh, Tim C do a a fundraiser there also? Uh, I don't know if he did a fundraiser. I, think, I believe he so. Did yeah, something yeah, with yeah, Lolo's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so dude, yeah. dude has been contributing, man. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. He definitely uh, shout definitely him out. He's, he's in the community. Have yeah, definitely man. really making himself. Uh, I mean, I guess he's always been, but really making himself, I guess, maybe a little bit more known mm-hmm. as far as like his community. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interaction help, and I, I appreciate it. We definitely, definitely, man. We all appreciate that, man. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> we just, uh, it like I said, I will just say, like my, me myself, I don't really uh, do a lot of the marketing part. <laughs> that <laughs> stuff kind of just help come with the ideas and stuff. And then it's mostly Ted out there. He's Ryan Derry, and he will, be <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he'll get on your head. All yeah, he's day. what I was talking to. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> about coming, about filling out that, filling out the forms because. Yeah. He is the most passionate person as far as like getting everyone together mm-hmm. for to make some type of change. He really wants to make sure that we all understand, you know, um, that that we we owe these babies something. That's mm-hmm. always his thing. We owe these babies something, and uh, and then Dante is he's he's good with like as far as like you know like the same exact thing, getting people involved, uh, you know, uh, posting things, mm-hmm. or, you know, really talking, you know, behind. Behind um, behind the scenes and stuff like that, right? And uh, you know, talking to people who can like make things move, yeah, you know, exactly. venues and and getting people there and all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, that's kind of how it, how we just start brainstorming, and mm-hmm. then we had to do something. We felt that where we would be free, it would be you know more to get everybody together, and we you know we love food, obviously. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And uh, can't, can't go wrong with Lolo. Nah, <laughs> no, 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 no. We did it. Where was the first one we did though? The first one, it was at low. We didn't the second because when you're talking about the second one, oh, the second one, yeah, okay. the first Kings run. Where did we do the first Kings run? At? The one in August was August. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> I'm so trash, I can't even remember. <laughs> 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 I forgot, man. But anyway, I'll, I'll get to look it up. But we did one there, uh, some other place first, and then we did it here. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just, uh, it, you know, it just I would just. Well, the first one was out in Chandler, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't remember you myself. Know, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta like get on like you uh, the, the, the our Instagram and find out. I can't yeah. really remember, so I hope yeah. someone text us and text me right now. Man, you spoke. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll figure, uh, figure what that one's at. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was mostly you know. Uh, oh, it was at. Uh, I'm sorry. Now I know it was at. Um, and they are black owned. Uh, uh, dang, what is that place in Chandler? Um, uh, Ginger Monkey. That's Ginger Monkey. Yeah, Ginger yeah, yeah, Monkey. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. I'm right. sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, sure. The lady at Ginger Monkey was so super duper nice. The owner, um, mm-hmm. sister, really, really nice. Was um, yeah. So we had it there, and um, you know, it just kind of grew. We went from like what, like fifty to hundred and something guys there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, everybody was positive, and uh, you know, to, to yeah. meet up and you know, you know, uh, have their business, you know, their businesses and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, just uh, like I've seen, you know, like I said, we we pay attention over here. Okay. And just to see how it is grown, yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. man. I love it. Yeah, man. So and we be, need you want to be a part of it, you know. Yeah. Anyway. And that's the thing, like you know, about people, you know, participating and being involved. It's like, um, you know, and that's and like I said, and that's Ted's thing. Like you know, like it's not just about a bunch of brunches. Like we want to put that out there. Like, mm-hmm. Not about a bunch of brunches. So I'll just give you like a real quick stuff about what stuff we have coming up. We're okay. Gonna have a, uh, we're gonna have a Queens brunch. It's oh, gonna dope. be like crazy. Like okay. I mean. Cause they've been, I mean, these, these, I'm telling you, these black women, man, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot even, you know, ex, you know, like express how supportive they've been. That's dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. about, just even just like wanting to be involved. So, That's dope. Um, we're going to do something for them. So we got like, uh, we're going to, we rented a, um, like a, like an Airbnb, like a little house with a pool. And oh, wow. Like so we're going to probably just keep like a hundred, but we got like, uh, we got two, uh, two vendors. 
um, my boy Rodney, um, uh, they call Food Head on Instagram, but Food Head Twenty Four. Uh, he's gonna do uh, some meals and there's another chef so mm. it's a diversity style okay so the women are gonna judge like you know not who's better but they're gonna just like you know they're gonna cook some of them cook some vegan stuff some keto stuff mm-hmm. some traditional stuff and stuff. Like offer you know I mean the other uh, chef is gonna do that and they're gonna just kind of like battle like oh, wow. the whole time there um, they got games there they got a DJ so uh. it's gonna be really really like a really really nice experience I, Aisha and Tita come on y'all need to go there <laughs> Look, he said food. <laughs> my head went like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So we're gonna have that thing next month, and then um, in December. What day is it? Ah, uh, we don't have the day yet. So uh, yeah, I know, I know. We try to, we try to have it together, but you know, we we just three black men out here. That's what it work. You know, so uh, but uh, we'll have some more uh, information. On, well, on let us one. definitely let, let us know, know so we can promote it. Mm-hmm. Whatever y'all do in the future, yeah. just let yeah. us know yeah. before we can definitely help promote yeah. it. And then we're gonna have a uh, a ball in in uh, uh, December. So we oh, we're really? thinking we don't know if we're gonna have like a daddy daughter, which is like you know something for black men, you know, to oh, okay. bring their daughters out. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. Really Christmas nice. ball. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna make a daddy daughter one, uh, or it might be you know just where you bring your kids and all that. But I think it's gonna be that's um, nice. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's something for kids anyway. You know, mm-hmm. so. And these daughters and these, these kids and stuff. So. Definitely, that's see, that's a big thing, a big thing right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, that's that's like you know y'all got the brothers thing, brotherhood going. Mm-hmm. You got the family factor mm-hmm. going. So right. that's dope. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to get me another ball gown. Another ball gown? Two ball gowns. I need <laughs> yeah. to get one for December and one for January. We're doing, nice. a, we're doing a kickball thing. I think we're doing like a. Oh, uh, y'all don't want to. Y'all don't want to see me at kickball. Y'all do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Y'all don't want to see me at kickball. Right. Hey, we're doing. A, we're gonna do a kickball. <laughs> uh, you know, some. We're gonna do something in the community, like you know, to really bring our kid, like our Definitely. kids and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's one of the main things. You know, like our five pillars, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Family. You yeah, know what man. I'm like that's number one. Like uh, black man, we got to take care of our our, our kids, take mm-hmm. care of our family. Yeah, man. Um, you know, and I got a huge family. I gain kids and you know stuff like that. So you know, it, it's. And like I said, and and let me put this out there first, so everyone understand. Not all of us, you know, we all have flaws. Like mm-hmm. We all have flaws. We Definitely. all have issues. We all have our own thing. But that's another part of the, you know, United Black Men. We are united in helping each other, you know, through all things. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Through mental health, through, you know, physical health, yeah. uh, through you know, financial stuff. Right. Uh, you know, political. Like, it should not be, you know, you should not feel like you don't have no one to talk to or mm-hmm. you can't get no advice from someone. In this, uh, you know, in this group, you mm-hmm. know? right, so right. If I need help with whatever, I should be able to call. Like, hey, bro, how do you do the podcast? Thing? You know, right, right, how right. do you edit, or right. how do you do this? Yeah. Or, you know, just basic stuff. Or I can say, oh, Definitely. you know, you know, I'm thinking about voting for someone. Mm-hmm. You know, like you know, like who would you, you know, whatever, whatever. Right. You right. Know, just give me just a big, just a big brother. Exactly. Right. Yeah, no, and, definitely. But you got like seven hundred thousand right. brothers. You know, right, what I'm saying? right, so, yeah. And it keeps it keeps it going. And then some of these guys like, um. um like, you know, I feel like I'll just use, like, my example. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, like, when I first kind of, like, started my business and mm-hmm. whatever, like, you know, I didn't I didn't have no, I didn't have a degree. I had, you know, like, no education behind right. it. I just kind of started it, you know. Um, you know, so it's kind of the same exact thing with some of these guys. Like, they're starting business, they're starting stuff, or they want to start stuff, mm-hmm. but they don't have anyone there that's, that can, like, you know, guide them. You know, right, like, right. Maybe in the hood or whatever and just don't know you know but mm-hmm. you have good ideas you have a lot of you know good resources and definitely stuff like that but sometimes you have to give them you know give them the game and you know help them out mm-hmm. know? and that's where like i like to do you definitely know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah. so what is your your business that you do? oh okay so <laughs> i own a uh, uh desert photos counseling so we do like uh like mental health uh own mental health clinics so i just have my one clinic in cottonwood arizona so okay one. wow so i deal with a lot of trump uh, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no, but uh, you know it's a good community actually. So I actually, but then I'm uh, moving my office. I have one on Forty Street in McDowell. Wow. I'm moving over to the South Side now, so we'll have a something more central uh, located in the community where I live mm-hmm. at, and that's where I kind of want to serve. I want to mm-hmm. kind of you know dedicate like all my services to like you know you know being with black men, young black black men, and families and stuff like that that, that need that. Is help. it is it tough getting funding? Uh, is it tough for people to afford uh, uh, to get care for mental health? Because well, some of the obstacles that I ran into with with my brother who who passed away, I mean he okay. he he had to admit that he had mental issues for for him 
to be able to get help. And um, I thought that was some of the a couple obstacles that I think yeah. those barriers need to be removed for people to get help, man. And um, we see just riding here, mm-hmm. going down 19th Avenue, oh, man, yeah. we see so much. I mean, I mean, these people, I mean, why aren't they able to get mental help in America like uh, other countries is pretty much what I'm getting to. Yeah, you know, like, and it's funny, cause, well, America pretty much has the best mental, mental health, like, thing. And Arizona actually spends, I think they're, like, number one in the top <coughs> three as far as spending money on, like, mental health. Really? They have, like, one and a half billion dollars to spend on, on, on mental health. Mm-hmm. You know, these are big contracts, but that's where it all comes down to is they're big contracts by big, big company, big corporations. So mm-hmm. they put these bo- these barriers, you know, and I fight that all the time. So, you know, and almost all, you know, black businesses, you know, or small businesses, you know, we fight that. Mm-hmm. One against uh, the Goliaths, you know right. what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, they put these barriers up all the time. It's barriers everywhere. Because, like, let's say you're, you're uh, you know, you say, you know, your brother need, your brother need help. Mm-hmm. You come to me and you're saying, yeah, he needs help. So I can say, okay, I'm going to do a mental health evaluation. You know, so we ask some questions and get intake on mm-hmm. them. You know, but the first question we got to ask is, you know, what insurance carriers you have? You know, I, you know, he has access. He might have access. Mm-hmm. So, but I don't take that insurance. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you might have a relationship with me. You trust me, you know, because with mental health and physical health, anything with health, you know, that's personal. Right. You know, so you I should trust be able people. to choose. Right. And according to the, a- you know, the, um, the ACA, you know, you're supposed to have choice, mm-hmm. but they don't, you know. So right. if you feel comfortable with me, you want to bring your, your brother to me, and then, you know, he can't come to me right. because I don't take that You're plan. not in that. I'm in access, but I don't have right. that plan, so he has to go to mercy care. Mm-hmm. So then, you know, who who's going to help him, help you, your family, actually, right. through that whole maze of, of services, you know? Mm-hmm. You then it takes a lot for a physician to even become, to even – do all the certification paperwork to even be in network or oh, be yeah. a part of a plan oh, yeah. for insurance. That is the hardest thing. Credentialing? Credentialing, oh, yes. It God. is very hard for providers <laughs> to get credentialing done, uh, which is another obstacle that create that is created for mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, another obstacle is that not a lot of health plans really cover mental health. Well, they cover just like the bear. They cover the they, counseling. They will cover right. It. They will cover mm-hmm. the. Location they will cover thing. you a. Yeah. Uh, they'll probably give you a maximum of like six visits, right. and in those six visits, you get one evaluation, four treatments. No, one evaluation, five treatments, and then another evaluation to see if you still need care. Right. And most of the time, they're like, "Oh, well, you're better now, so we don't. You don't need care anymore." So they drop you off, and you've maxed out your amount of visits that you can have to see your mental health care mm-hmm. provider. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is expensive, you know, sometimes. And, you know, like it's I say, I'll come, I'll come down to your, your, your health plan, insurance. And it's it really is for, like, if you're just, like, a, you know, medium, you know, uh, 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 medium income, mm-hmm. you know, family, you can't afford to go, you know, pay That's 100 crazy. or $30 every right. you know, every session. And especially if you have multiple kids, you might have three kids. Right. All getting those services, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you tough, man. ninety dollars a week, you know, especially like right now this pandemic that's going on. It's funny because everything. So they merge, you know, physical health and, and mental health. Wow. You know, they merge together. So they're supposed to get the same amount of respect. So, if, but now if you say COVID, they pay one hundred percent of everything. You know, like that's why everyone that people are dying, they might die from asthma, they might die from a heart attack. They're gonna throw a COVID diagnosis in there, so they get one hundred percent of that mm-hmm. of that pay. Mental health. I mean, we might some people might come in and say, you know, I had COVID, so now I need I have you know, uh, I um anxiety. I'm depressed. You know, right, I'm right. dealing with like you know, um you know these. Uh, I'm, I might I beat it, but I'm also dealing with these. You know, COVID has caused these. Yeah, these and I, and that you're, you know they're gonna you're gonna continue to have certain health issues that's going to you know affect you for the rest of your life and gonna put a lot of trauma and stuff like that in you. And it's like you don't get that hundred <laughs> you know, percent. Well, I mean, people of. Every day we have people a fight about health care, and if well, people will realize that everything across the board would be paid oh, yeah. if we just go ahead and get universal health care. I mean, period. We need universal health care. 
If you have mental illness, you should be able to go to the doctor every single yeah. day if you need to. And, and like that's how you feel. Like Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan shouldn't be able to charge a monthly, uh, w- your deductible shouldn't be $6,500 oh, yeah. in Michigan for Blue Cross Blue Shield, where in Arizona, your deductible is 6700 Right. Like, each plan, each state has different rules and different, different prices, different everything. Yeah. They set their things differently, although they are still within CMS guidelines. Mm-hmm. They're still within those guidelines. So they're like, oh, well, we're in guidelines, so we can charge whatever we want for our premium. <laughs> right. And that's that's the main problem. I mean, we, we need universal care. Right. And go back to the, the universal care. Let's like, <laughs> let's, uh, what was the main issue about the uni- universal health care? Money. It was going to cost two trillion dollars. Mm-hmm. They just passed two trillion dollars. What about right. twenty three trillion <laughs> you know, dollars that we're in debt? Right. They, they found that money, and it's like y- y'all. It, and then that's and ah, see, this is like the whole like uh, the uh, hypocrisy, you know, of mm-hmm. like Republicans and these and these and these like blue dog, you know, Democrats. Mm-hmm. It's like they care about. I mean, if you just look at the the, the patterns, every single time a Republican win. And they destroy, we go into debt. They destroy the budget, and then they blame it, and then the Democrats come, come in to fix it, and then they blame it on them. Four or five years, six years, and it's they been get like that. Yeah, it's been and like it's that since like, I was a little kid, man. Yeah, and it's like they—that's what I'm saying. Like when they're on the, um, uh, you know, when you're looking at this stuff, it's it's just it's just crazy how they don't. Um, <laughs> they they're not noticing that they're not seeing. That, I pattern. think they do notice, and I yeah. think they don't care. I don't. I, I, yeah, yeah, I mean I the the people yeah. who vote yeah. Republican over and over and yeah. over, and they'll they'll say the Democrats are crazy, all this and all that. But you show them, hey, we always go in debt on the Republican though. Every time. Why do they fix deficit. the budget? Right. We had surpluses under Democrats. But yeah. why every time? They only time they I've care about the budget yeah. is when the Democrats in office. And, 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 and it hurts everybody. I mean, you know, like you know, I I do medical so. I see a lot of veterans that need help. Mm-hmm. They they get care. <laughs> um, the ACA was definitely helpful for them because when Obama passed it, the VA was able to outsource their work. So once they were able to outsource their work, they was able veterans to see more, were able to see be more seen veterans. by their provider. But didn't of Trump took that away, right? And get covered one hundred percent for right. the visit. That's not – veterans are now having to pay out of pocket for premiums, deductibles, coinsurances, things that they didn't have to pay for mm-hmm. under ACA. Yeah. And, well, I mean, and, and uh, you know, you got to vote, vote for your interest. You know what I'm saying? And people are so – some people are so stuck on, like, especially veterans. And, you know, they, they're actually living the hypocrisy of this American mm-hmm. dream. And it's so crazy to me that, like, veterans are, like, you know, against these protesters. And I'm like, you – Swear, you know what I'm saying? You swore oath to defend this country, you know, from both, you know, terrorism, you know, uh, you know, uh, foreign and abroad, you know, abroad and, you know, home. So it's like protesting is what started this country. You know, right. that's, they left because they, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Boston Tea Party. So right. like all of them. So you're against them, too. Right. Or you're only against it because. Right. Black, you you against you against them. That, the that's people that's saying. protesting. Yeah. So it's like and that's I mean, I don't feel sorry for I don't feel sorry for anyone who. Uh, you know, who's struggling through like you know, uh, you know, th- these issues, but yet they're still holding that flag about oh well, this is this and this economy and it's all this stuff. Mm-hmm. That economy, all that stuff is fake. Like you mm-hmm. know what I mean, I, I'm not a conspiracy or none of that, but mm-hmm. it's fake. Because you know I mean? like, how can you how can you have a country that's completely shut down and the Dow Jones and stock is still high? like that doesn't make any sense? You know, because like, the Dow Jones is not based off American uh, normal people. Yeah, it's not based off me and you. Yeah, it's a bunch of rich it's based people. off of the top one percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just playing that. Playing it's what they what they have. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. and they so just shuffling the money back yeah, and forth between that, each other. Between and each other. Like, so yeah. I just kind of, I, I just, I just sit back and watch it, mm-hmm. and kind of like laugh, and I just kind of focus on, you know, like what, what, uh, like I said, local. I'm thinking about like local. Like I'm thinking about ten. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah, right. That's about what people yeah. who rep- represent me because yeah. that's where that's where you're gonna actually see. That's what has actually more control of your daily life. Right. Then you think a president. You know, that's a national thing. We all know states have states have rights, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. So it's like I'm gonna listen to this president, you know, whatever, but you know, we have state legislators, state, you know, uh, uh you know, um attorney generals mm-hmm. stuff like that, you know, that's you know, that's like people they're talking about that dude uh, Daniel Cameron over there. Mm. And I'm like, You guys voted 
that guy in there or yeah. yet did not vote. Yeah. So you can't didn't you know, vote. Right. So you can't be, you know, up in arms about everything. That's what about black people. We get so emotional, you know, that we're wrong, but you know, you can you can and we have a it. chance to get him yeah. out and vote in somebody else. Easy, you know, and that's yeah. like, like I said with the Tim, you know, like I said, if Tim is getting enough numbers to where, you know, that I say if he wins or loses, if he loses, but if he loses with a number that 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 you know, yeah, that someone that that whoever the loser, the real loser, who's in mm-hmm. second place, is gonna be looking for those votes. Mm. I need to find ten thousand votes. Where can I find ten thousand votes? Tim got forty. Tim. Mm-hmm. So okay, now I gotta figure, <laughs> figure something. I'm out. a I'm a first year voter because of Tim. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I don't I don't like candidates. You know, yeah. I don't like people. You know, that? Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. now you now yeah. you you gonna have to look at it because now you are gonna think you know uh, like you know your meta you you gotta think about. Medicare, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And you gotta think about stuff now, not just for yourself, but your mom. Yep. You gotta think about your kids. Mm-hmm. So you gotta now you voting on some stuff that yeah. all this crazy stuff that's happening yeah. now is gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? Most oh, definitely. Issue. Um, we have a game for you, sir. You, you ready for the game? Let's do it. Oh, you wanna do the? Yeah, we're gonna, that's presenting the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what is the game presented presented by Miss Aisha? Today's trivia game is presented by Slay by. Jay. You can Slay find her Jay. on Instagram or Facebook at Slay by Jay or Jay Slay on Instagram. She also has, you can hit her up on our um, email, mm-hmm. makeup with J at gmail.com. Okay. J spelled J E I. Mm. She is a freelance makeup artist. She does proms, weddings, bridal parties, photo shoots, and birthdays. Mm. Okay. Slay by Jay. Get slayed up. Get slayed. Yeah, everything with women's face now is slayed and beat up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they do beat up? Yeah, it's beat up. <laughs> I, my, I got my face beat up, and it's, it's supposed to be a good thing, not a bad thing. It's supposed to be a good thing. Yeah. All right, so you ready for the game? I'm ready for the game. I'm ready. Can I say, Ted, stop calling me. <laughs> <laughs> Text me what you want me to do. Go ahead. I'm ready. All right, so we got five <laughs> questions for you. You get three out of five correct. We'll donate fifty dollars to your charity of choice. Is this any math? We're doing math. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you find out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't math. tell you all that, oh, okay. but what I can tell you is you have three lifelines. Oh, good. You can call someone. You can Google one, in which case we'll give you forty-five seconds to get the answer, or you may skip one. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Question one. What was the name of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s father's church? Uh, Is it A, Ebenezer Baptist, B, Atlanta Southern Baptist, C, Southern Church of the People, or D, Atlanta Tabernacle? A, right? A. Ebenezer, Ebenezer Baptist yeah. is correct. I, I actually saw it. I actually went there. I've been there once myself. Hot yeah. streak ready. <laughs> Question two. What group launched the Freedom Rides in 1961? Is it A, ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union, B, SCLC, Southern Christian Leadership Com- Conference. C. Core Congress of Racial Equality. Or D. SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. I think I know which one it is, but I kind of want to Google it though, just to make sure I get it right. So how many Googles I get? You just get one. one Google. And then I get two lifelines. And then you'll have two left. Google will give you 45 seconds. All right. Wait, what's the question? Wait, who was it? <laughs> who created what now? The question is, what group launched the Freedom Rides in 1961? The Freedom Rides. Was it A, the ACLU, B, SCLC, C, CORE, or D, SNCC? CORE. Core is correct. And I was going to wrong. I was too. I ACLU. ACLU. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A or B, I thought it was on fire. All right. <clears throat> Question three. 
Ain't no question about future. No, no rapper. <laughs> <laughs> NBA Kobe Bryant or something? Nah. Uh, nope. Question three. <laughs> this is what happens when you're part of the community. Right. <laughs> SNCC member Stokely Carmichael was instrumental in forming the Lones County Freedom Organization in Alabama. What was its symbol? A, a balance scale. B, the letters MLK. C, a Black Panther. Or D, a raised fist. That's hard. Stokely Carmichael? Stokely Carmichael. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, oh I messed up one. Uh, no, that was wrong. That was my bad. <laughs> Uh, I think because I know 15 seconds. anyone's gonna know. I think it was the uh, the uh, the Black Panther. The Black Panther is correct. I knew he was gonna get. It. That's why I did that. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I answered it in my head or something. I, don't know. It, I think you did. did I? <laughs> Question four. So you got the three, right? He, he got the three. Well, Congratulate you on that three, right there. It was a tough, tough fault. <laughs> but you still got a little bit of the game there. What was Muhammad Ali's original name? Oh, oh, know, everybody oh, know this. Oh, Leviticus oh. Lewis. B. Marcellus Moore. C. Cassius Clay. Or D. Aaron Brown. Uh, uh, Cassius Clay. And it's a funny story. Cassius Clay is that correct. That was going to be actually my birthday. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's an easy one. Yeah, cash money. I had to throw an easy one in there. Whatever. You probably didn't know. <laughs> yes, I did. I took the quiz. <laughs> Before the quiz, babe. Before. All right. That's it. Yeah, that was it. You want to do one more? Or? I, I got nah, two more I, if you want to do one more. Let's do one more. I want to retire as a win. Nah, nah, want as a win. Nope. You want to do one more <laughs> bonus just, question? Let's uh, do one more question. Okay. And wait, I, I, well, this, this one you, still goes you, to my yeah, yeah. nonprofit. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What famous baseball player said, today's black athletes have no idea what we had to endure? A, Hank Aaron. B, Bob Gibson. C, Ernie Banks. Or D, Willie Mays. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. That was easy, man. I got no friend that's no baseball. <laughs> My oh, guess, Daniel. I'm take a guess. I, I say one. Ernie Banks. Nah. Ernie Banks is correct. Oh, good. There you go. I was going to say Daniel Gibson. And he definitely. said it during a 2011 interview. Yeah. The reason I thought that is because he, I think he's the, the oldest of them all. That's the reason why I picked him. I think he's the oldest of all. Gibson just died, so I thought that's why I thought yeah. it was him. I thought they were going to say Ernie Banks. Like yeah, because Willie Mays, I think, played in the 60s. Yeah. I think Ernie Banks played before then, but I, I could be wrong. But anyway, let me get right on that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Memory serves. So, what's the other things y'all have besides the, uh, you know, what you got going on in November and uh, some more stuff? I know y'all did some uh, alley cleanups. Yeah. Well. Dope, dope. dope. Yeah. So, and like that, that, I mean, that's, that goes to Ted because mm -hmm. I was actually, I think I was out of town or did some of my, I, oh, I was, uh, I had a staycation with my, my baby, my daughter's her birthday. So I I, w I wasn't even there for that, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I mean not, not, it was uh, their their, uh, their fall break or whatever. So right. I don't do that with my baby. But um, other than that, yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's Ted, man. Ted Ted is I mean he's he's all for like community doing that stuff. I'm that's not cool, really man. Want to go out there do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> but I mean you know like I said every, in in our organization, um, let me slow down talking. Uh, in our in our organization, there should be something for every single right, person. Right, right. That's what the team's know? about. Yeah. Exactly. So if I'm not strong on that, you know, but I am a little bit stronger in like mm -hmm. the organization stuff, and you know, Dante's more stronger in you know in the things he does. Mm -hmm. and, you know, Joe, whoever is you know more uh, Yaman, whatever. They're they're all like you know more you know uh, in whatever they do, but we should all come together. And yeah, we man. Have a strong. The collective. A strong, you're right. Strong mm -hmm. collective effort on doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, that's probably the only thing that we like kind of we have issues with sometimes as far as like about like, you know, actual, you know, uh, participation in certain things. But most of that is because, like I said, we're still starting off, you know, right. people are still kind of like, well, you know, I still want to know, like, you know, what exactly you guys really stand for. Mm -hmm. And like I, you know, like like we talked about with the five pillars and stuff like that of our organization, you know, um, 
those things that, that, that we stand for, we need everyone to put their, you know, to put their, you know, their two cents in, whatever, to make this be exactly what we want. Mm-hmm. You know, and like I said, if you don't get nothing you know, um, from the family part or from the mental health or the physical health part, mm-hmm. like, you know, you should be getting something from the community, you know, um, uh, the community uh, uh, committees that we have. Right. You should be from the, the political committees that we right. have. You should be contributing, like, the financial part. You know, we should be doing business with one another, which yeah. is the number one yeah. issue. That's mm. not, not an issue. This is, that is the number one thing that's holding us back yeah, man. as African Ownership. Americans. A hundred thousand percent. You know, like you, you can't, you cannot uh, keep uh, like you know, like every time I see stuff like on Instagram or read about like black like puffy dude and all that stuff, like it's always like a deal. I had to do a deal with this. I had to do a mm-hmm. deal with that person. Mm-hmm. When the last time you heard Amazon like say I had to do this? Now they buy mo- they buy people out. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, like it, like the you know the accumulation of wealth you know should be our number one thing. Number and, one. And and it's, it's not it's buying back our neighborhoods. Yeah, oh said, it's, it's the, buying uh, back our neighborhoods from the um, I don't from the foreign and in, influencers that have came and taken over our neighborhoods oh, yeah. from from Indonesia and and East Asia and oh, the, yeah, they like they've came Middle and, Eastern yeah you know, they've came and Asia. they've taken it over man oh. and, and you know there is like you know I'll I'll talk about it because I drove I was um I live on South Side obviously. But I was driving down. I went to the Mexican restaurant on 35th Avenue and, you know, Van Buren, mm-hmm. something like that. And, I mean, you can say the same thing about, like, 16th Street and, like, the other. I mean, mm-hmm. 16th Street and Broadway. You go down those streets, and it's all Mexican shops. Yep. Not against Mexican. I don't know nothing about that. But no, nah, that's yeah. that's the way it's yeah. supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, right. Right. We, have, we, have, we, like, we have to look at them as an example. Yeah. Dude, we got fact. so many yeah. blueprints of how to do it, and it's crazy. It's like... We're, Even in New York, they, Little China yeah. and they'll yeah. have you just crazy. China they'll town. have four or five tire shops on the same mm-hmm. block, and they all doing business. They all working. They all cool. I don't understand that. Like, I mean, I understand it, but I don't understand how we don't. And I drive down those places, and I'm seeing. I'm like, that's crazy, you know. Yeah. And, and, and there are actually like you know commercial real estate that's owned by black people, mm-hmm. but there I don't never hear them. You know, saying it owning the whole yeah. block, or right, even right. saying it, yeah. But like, I mean, like I told about our group, I'm like, we got 600 people in the group. Okay, mm-hmm. everyone. I'm not. I'm not sure everybody can put a thousand dollars in, but let's just say we have. I mean, we have enough people with money in this mm-hmm. in this city that we can't. We not not, not even play like play it like we're broke. No. And everyone got ten thousand dollars in in stimulus money, and mm-hmm. you know that could have been a thousand dollars a piece put into like you know a million dollar building, and Definitely. we literally, literally could have, you know. <laughs> got it number yeah. one for like probably t- 20 you know 20 percent mm-hmm. then got in there and actually rehabbed it yeah. and then put our businesses in right. there yeah. and made it a big hub you guys boom, you boom, 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 have boom. the um, you can do it i just want people to know or just to recognize not know recognize that black business has grown in arizona yeah they have just from me being when i came out here yeah. years ago mm-hmm. i see a level so yeah it, it's growing we just need to support. We just well, it's need so spread out. It's, it's we need to work more together, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, yeah and, and and like I said, I always say like the synergy. You know what I'm saying? If I'm doing this and you do like, what's the um, like the rate, like you know things that you could do with that? So mm-hmm. like I always talk about like the the, med- the medical marijuana stuff. When I was in California, I was getting into that. So like everyone want to be on a dispensary, but how about the people who grow, harvest, and grow? Yeah, who cut it, who trim, and mm-hmm. all that. You know, like there's dispose of it. Making, no, it's a like, partnership. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of other things. You know, yeah, you know, you might not make a million dollars, but you can make a hundred thousand dollars from this this company. Yeah. Dollars, but listen, I believe like, even with uh, Mike Tyson and Sean Kemp, for example, mm-hmm. both of them, I believe they had to secure harvest and land to be able to grow mm-hmm. before they were able to launch their dispensaries. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So you can't just be like, I'm going to get a dispensary. You have to get yourself together. Yeah. You have to get your uh, your land together you're going to have, where you're going to grow your product, who's going right. to grow the product, how you're going to grow it, what kind of product you're going to grow. Then you got to think about all those things. It's not just, I'm going to get a dispensary. Right. Right. So, I mean, I think that sometimes we just need to be educated on things. Yeah. And, uh, and you're right on the centralized thing, too, also. Mm-hmm. If we can figure out a way to buy a block or a street and to make that street up and down that street is just all you know, black business owned, black. Yeah, you know what I mean? Would, it, uh, that would be dope, is, also. Black business, but then black people look at each other as competition. And yeah, that's what real we need bad. to stop doing that. Real, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. see, but and and that's what I'm saying about a hub and about synergy. Mm-hmm. If if so, if you yeah you 
if you just have a, like you know five spots in the place, no, you can't open it. Three insurance companies in there, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but you can have an insurance company, you have a cell phone place, yeah. you have a hair care place, right. you have a grocery store, you have a life insurance. Like you, it's a bunch. And then you one across the street. Mm-hmm. You put tire shop and right. You, you know, the, and start you, slowly. Exactly. Yeah. Just keep on doing it, and like you can't. You just you know like. There's no reason why we don't have a black grocery store. Right. You know, like no, yeah. for real, my, man. My boy Corey, like <laughs> Corey, you know, uh, VIP Enterprises. He, uh, he he does like uh, uh, international. Man, every day, almost every week, he's talking about like uh, uh, a farm. You know, mm-hmm. a black farm. Yeah, you know? man. It's and needed. I just read there is actually I, is one. There, yeah, there, yeah. there are starting yeah. to uh, pop up across yeah. the United States with mm-hmm. black farms. But they gotta starting. like, they gotta really like, they gotta really say something because I'm yeah. thinking like. If I knew, I would buy my stuff right. from there. Right, right, yeah. It makes no sense why I would not. Mm-hmm. But I want to I wanna put that as an example. So we went vegan. Uh, me and Tudette went vegan back in June. Mm-hmm. So over there on 7th se- Street, I don't know where, where exactly it was at, but 7th Street, there's four vegan spots on the same block. Yep. Really? You oh, it's something like McDowell. Seven, yeah, something like that, right. right. Yeah. There's four vegan spots on the same block. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm at one vegan spot. They're like, oh, if you want some good vegan pizza, Go to that one. Mm-hmm. So, the, and that one's like, though, if you want a good vegan chicken sandwich, go to that one. Right. So they're all, even though they're saying, yeah. they're all telling you, oh, you check them out. out, man. And, you know, it's white owned, though. Right. But look how they work together. Right, man. And you that's what, what it's saying? supposed to be about, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I hate, I hate when people down black companies as a whole i hate when they do that yeah like i go to black business and, yeah. and it don't be this type and it don't be good enough or they be overcharging i hate when they say that don't sure. don't pigeonhole all black companies talk about the company that you went to and you had a problem with don't you don't yeah. do that for That's white companies thing. don't do that to us when you go to walmart you don't say, you say walmart you don't say <laughs> karen at walmart you say yeah. walmart Cashier. walmart trick me no, off right yeah. you say but walmart. when we go to the black companies we want to say oh the, the black people don't know how to run business yeah. it's like yeah. i don't know why we do that overcharging all that stuff yeah, yeah man talking about overcharging this and is, not good service and this is what like, i do because like i go out, i love eating i eat at nice places i go everywhere i've been eating everywhere so if a black a black owned company, if I have any issue with them, mm-hmm. I pay my tab, I, I pay my uh my um my uh, my tip, <laughs> and then what I do is we don't be liking that tip, but I pay my tip, and then I will DM them on the Instagram, and I'll let them know, hey, this is the service I had, I wasn't cool with that, but you know I'm mm-hmm. keep on supporting you because that could have just been one time. Mm-hmm. Just bring it to your attention, right? And I keep it moving. Yeah. Definitely. If I go eat at. Take 44 or something. If anything wrong, I ain't never going back. You know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? But if I go Lolo's and something, whatever, I'm going to shoot them the thing. Right. You know, and, like, let them know. Because, like I said, we're teaching. We're helping them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I always say, I help. I'm not saying, come here, let me talk to you. Right. Da, 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 da. No, because who wants to be, right. you know, Scolded like in front of their customers. Right. Yeah, so you be little. Shoot them, shoot them a DM. And they, and I swear, like, every single one I've ever had an issue yeah. with, I should, they hit me back. Oh, thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, and it's over with. You know, and, and that's how you got to do it. Uh, I do want to shout out uh, Mr. Tim C. Is Tim C. in the house. In. <laughs> Vote Tim C. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just also want to, I just want to bring this up too. We, we lost about three black business owners man. in the last two months. Yeah, man. Yeah. And that's, Sad, and man. that's us killing each other. They're killing each other. So, yeah. at the same time, we don't support our black business and then we kill mm-hmm. Kill the people to kill the people who are successful and well, trying to do something. Was, yeah, I know uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Links. Mr. Um, Links. Another one was uh, MNF uh, Smoke Shop. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot some other stuff. Yeah, there, that's so. crazy. Yeah, and, man. and that's probably something we should talk about real quick. I don't know if you that, but you know, about those killings and stuff like that that, that happened on the South Side. You know, mm-hmm. like that's one thing yeah, that's, really, South Side. Yeah. that's really, really driving. You know, like it's so crazy. Like, the oppor- the the opportunity that that we that we that we're having right now, as far as clarity, like we actually know our opposition right in front of us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, and I'm not saying police and stuff like that. I'm just talking about just the system in general. Yeah, we know it. It's it's worldwide news. Yeah, it's, they're focusing on it. Mm-hmm. The brands and companies are willing to give you money, yeah. all this kind of stuff. Yes. and then you turn back around and then you killing you know 14, 15 year old kids. Yeah. And, People, you killing our own for small minded man, but goofy stuff. You yeah, know? Like, I mean, we don't see the big picture. Yeah. People are seeing just uh, what's in front of them, and they don't realize that they have a future that they yeah. can make so much better. And this is going to these decisions you're making today are right. going to destroy. And someone's not telling them that, yeah. Yeah. or if they're not listening, someone hasn't gotten it to through to them yeah. that you're going to destroy your future making these decisions that yeah, you're making at the end of the day. Starts with parenting. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, he does. We got to teach these kids early. Yeah. And we got to teach them how to be, have some type of ownership or, yeah. Yeah. or wealth, Sponsor bank ability. accounts, yeah. all that stuff, investment. Yeah. Early. Yeah. early. Put them in, establish them early. What do you think they're like, uh, family is doing? Yeah, man. Teach them well, they already know. So, That's the thing, too. They have things to lose. Yeah. When your has nothing to lose, that's your fault as a parent. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah. Your kids should have something to lose At because you times. have built something for them. They know, man, I got I got a bank account yeah. that has a certain amount of money. Why am I finna go out here tripping and shooting up Mr. Lynx when I know I got 15000 my mom didn't already put in the bank for me? Exactly. Why would I go do that? When you have options, you have you make different right. decisions. That and, the, and, and that's, the, that's the problem. Environment. Knowledge. And like I said, like I'll, I'll tell you, like, uh, I have 10 children, okay? And I made so a lot of mistakes <laughs> with raising them. Yeah, right. yeah. I always had ten We just looked at each other <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, what? I don't want that many. <laughs> yeah, so I have ten kids. And, I'll tell and you right I'm now. the oldest between. I'm the oldest of ten between both of my parents. <laughs> you got ten just by yourself. Just by me. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, that's one thing I know. I made actual a mistake with my kids. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like as far as spoiling them and stuff like that. And then like, so like my kids, like they think that like. You know, money grows in the tree. They see no, even though they're like, they're all pretty much older now, but mm-hmm. they're starting to see it now. They're right. like in the real world. They're like, wait, I told my son, you know, <laughs> I made him get a job. And uh, he had to uh, pay the, the cable bill this way, $250 of cable bill. And he came, he's like, but what? I ain't using no Wi Fi. I'm like, <laughs> you watch your cable, you got your phone yeah. right to it, that game. Yeah. You, know, you got people coming over on the Wi You know, it's like, oh, he's like, wait, what? Like, I, he can't. You know, understand that. Yeah. So, and I think that's one thing when I was when I was young, because like I said, I was on the you know, working and mm-hmm. hustling and trying mm-hmm. to provide for them. You know, stuff that I had because I had both of my parents, stuff like that, and you know, middle class, whatever. But also wanted to you know uh, provide more for them and right. I baby right. them and I right. whatever. And now you know, you get older, you look at the you know the monsters you create. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you're like, boy, it's gonna be you know uh, um, a hard lesson to learn when you really you know. Um, out here, you mm-hmm. know, you really got to take care of yourself. Yeah, and definitely, stuff like that. definitely. Yeah, so they gotta, they gotta learn. And definitely. Stuff. Yes, sir. Let's get, let's do another uh, marketing uh, sponsor, and then we'll uh, get you give us all your social media and, okay. and where they can find you. And then we'll do our sponsors. We get ready to wrap it up. So we have we had three people do the marketing this yeah, week. Yeah, we had one. This one's uh, usprime dot dot com. Yes, usprimetv.com. TV, okay. Wow. They are offering, uh, you can get all the TV, sports, and pay-per-view you want for just $15, $15 a, a month. month. Huh? Stop playing. $15. And, <laughs> and they're black-owned. Oh, that's a deal. USA Prime TV. That's a deal. sports, and you want so like uh, you can get a chance to have monthly plans mm-hmm. really yeah 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 Where they connect with you, how they can be part of the, the King Branches and all right. that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you can find us at uh, United Black Men underscore AZ. Mm-hmm. That's on Instagram and that's on uh, Facebook. Okay. Um, yeah, we sh- and you can also catch us on Monday night. Uh, Monday night happy hour we have uh, every Monday yes. night. Uh, right now from uh, 5 to 9 at uh, Brunch and Sip. Um, which is right there on, I think it's 40th Street in uh, Indian School. Okay. Y'all, 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 y'all uh, placing bets on the games? No. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> it's right down the street from us. Nah, we, okay. Yeah, they have wings. Like I said, they have some really good wings. They got those uh, pineapple jalapeno. Mm. So uh, they got. You, you said know, brunch and sip on 40th Street in Indian School? Yeah. yeah it's not right down the street from us. <laughs> <laughs> we on 44th Street. It's just south of us. It's not That's that far. That's a long 
way. <laughs> Dude, that's 15 and, minutes. And right. just like, uh, we don't have to argue. And it's just uh, like, yeah, it just you know, the brothers and Definitely. Of, you know, people come, anyone come, and then and women, women too. And it's that's just, dope. Like, it's fun. Yeah, man. That's one thing, like, you know. We didn't, may not make it to the, the events, but we support y'all. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Like, if yeah. y'all post something, we'll sh- we, sh- we do share it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, we've been a couple of times we shot it out on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we do support y'all. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, have to post you guys some stuff on, on, on our on our site. Beautiful. And uh, and we're we're, we're going to really start working with, like, you know, getting, like, partners. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, so, man. And we're here. So every time we do something, we want y'all to show up. You know, yeah. we mm-hmm. want, you know, other podcasts, whatever, show up, too. Yeah. We want as many, as much community, you know. Like I said, I think like what you guys are doing is like great. All you know, showcasing these these businesses, mm-hmm. you know, Definitely. giving you know, giving Tim his props. Yeah. You Definitely. know, and I'm I'm happy to be to be a part of this. I love this. I love podcast, podcast so I love <laughs> like, being able to, you know, yeah. say what I want to say. And also love the fact that, you know, like, you know, husband wife, husband wife, you know, husband wife team, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's good. Yeah, you know, you gotta that's one thing about, you know, our our families that we need to like put out more. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like that, you know, that you can work together you yeah can, man you know build together definitely you can raise your kids together and yep. stuff like that. so you know it's great definitely, yeah man definitely this shot this like i said this, this shout out our sponsor that pays the bills and keep the lights on waywardkid.com wayward kid foundation for all your entertainment news sports lifestyle trends for all your editing program needs for kids and adults we also have kiwi juice bar with all natural smoothies fresh pressed juice and nutritional education they are now also offering weekly meal prep they are vegan. They will go to the grocery store for you and prep those meals. Mm-hmm. I shine. You shine. We shine. We shine detailing. Make your car shine like new. Check out their Facebook and Instagram page. They're always taking, uh, posting fun videos of their work. Like their pages and share. Yep. Now don't forget Butcher's Wings and Things. Come get these wings and things. Get the delicious plates. They were on Valley Voyage. Voyage. Valley Voyage, they're on the, the right up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah so Valley Voyage, I think it was. Bu- they're buzzing right now, so mm-hmm. definitely. Not only do they have which is Wednesday, they also have the uh, sweet bee. sweet bee. So, yeah. so mouth watering, man. Some things is yeah, they desserts look good too, man. Yeah, I man. Try me one of those. I mean, Dude is blowing up, man. Yeah, we 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 didn't think they had those uh, when she first started that company. Mm-hmm. Those deliciousness. Yep. Yep. What else we got? We also have novels by Z. The game isn't only for boys. Experience the game told from the other side. You can also purchase your very own signed copy at www.novelsbyz.com. Yep. And uh, matter of fact, the person that we uh, gave the book away to has mm-hmm. got her copies. That's dope. Let's do that. Um, KT Gibson Lomay. Y'all see that skit that we did for that? Fire. Mm-hmm. Fire skit. And it's a fire song. Uh, check his video out. His music video for that song is actually on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And, oh, okay. and, that was it. and he can, um, <laughs> <laughs> and he has his album, Seven, a sequel, yep. is on uh, Spotify right now. Yeah, so be yeah. on the watch out for KT yeah, yes. Gibson. And we have uh, Trinity Promotions for all your printing and graphic needs. Mm-hmm. You need logos, uh, flyers, banners. Check out Trinity Promotions. They can help you to market your business. Mm-hmm. We also have Million Dollar Teacher Project. Let's help the teachers help your kids. Her and Miss Joanne Muhammad, mm-hmm. top donator, soon to be sponsored. Mm-hmm. Her book is out, so the Bible told me so. Yep. It's out now. It's not even soon. Yeah. It's not coming soon. It's out now. So go to uh, Amazon. Go to Amazon and type in Joanne Dumas. Dumas. Mm-hmm. That's Joanne Dumas, D-U-M-A-S, and it will pop up. There you go, yeah. Get your copy. Support yeah. black authors, yep. man. And if you stay tuned, um, in a couple more episodes, we will be giving away a book as well. So yeah, man. Get your copies going. We we'll definitely Might get give you it away one. during the trivia time. Yeah, man. Yep, Make yep. sure people have one and get a chance to read it. That's dope. Yes, sir. I thank you for coming in, boss. Man, I appreciate. Yeah, we appreciate you, you man. And we appreciate everything you guys are doing for the um for the city and everything, and uh, yep. bringing black men together, which is always dope and uh, appreciate it. We appreciate it. United Definitely. Black Men, man. Give it up for them, man. Yeah. Appreciate what you boys are doing, man. And um, anytime you guys want to come on and anything you guys need, hit us up, man. And we'll, we'll make sure it make it happen. Open. Yep. I don't care if it's a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Daniel real. T. The Podcast. We, we out. out. Holla, holla. Peace, peace, peace. <laughs>